Good morning, everybody. How are ya? It is Wednesday, we're doing lower body, and we're using the big physio ball here, and we're using dumbbells. And I'm gonna walk real slow. <laughs> And see if I stay focused, walking back here slowly. All righty. So we are gonna start with push-ups. It's our last week to do push-ups. I know you're completely depressed because you're not gonna be able to do push-ups anymore with me in the morning before we start. But you can always do them, you know. By now, you should have plenty of options on how to do push-ups. So there's really no excuse. Um, of course, the traditional straight body military style, guy style push-up is hard for a lot of women. Um, and I get that. So that's why I've provided uh, numerous options. So what I'm gonna do today is something I did last week and it's using the kettlebell or the dumbbell um, in straight arm plank and just simply moving it across back and forth. And it's an excellent way to strengthen not only your core, but your shoulders and chest muscles and triceps. So we'll start with that. We'll do 20, take a little rest, and then we'll do 16, because it's one of those things that's uh, one arm each gets a turn. <laughs> okay, have water nearby or whatever you have to wet your palate. And I'm just gonna use a uh, 10 pound dumbbell for this plank exercise, but before we start, of course I wanna do some warming up, right? So swing your arms out. You just wanna get the blood flowing around and around. Good morning, I see one person. All right, feet together, inhale breath, arms sweep up over the head here. Exhale, breath, round your back. Pull the navel in, spread your shoulder blades apart. Inhale, reach those arms back out and up. Squeeze your buttocks. Exhale, little side lean over here to the right. Bend the elbows. Inhale, breath, reach up. And then exhale, once again, we bend the knees, we round the back, pull the navel in, spread the shoulders apart. Inhale, breath, all the way up we go. And then exhale, side bend to the left, letting both elbows bend a little bit. Inhale, breath up. And then last time, exhale breath, rounding your back down, down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, open out to the sides. Press those arms back, back, back. Press thumbs pointing to the back, opening the chest. Good, now flip the hands over. Shoulders roll around, bend the knees, cross here in front. So think chest. Think shoulders, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good, inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, open out, interlace behind your back. Push those arms away, chest out, chin up, inhale. Good, and then release. Shoulders roll around. So one more sort of movement, active warm-up exercise. Touching your shoulders with your hands here. Elbows point up to the ceiling. So the backs of the hands are coming together there and then elbows together, elbows up and then together. So we go up, together, little springy knee action here. Together, up, behind, to the front. Behind, to the front. Four more. Three, two, one more. Good, now circle elbows around and around here. Reverse, other way, circle to the back. Good, squeeze and open those hands, warming up those forearms and wrists. All right, so come down into straight arm plank. So if you just tuned in and you missed my little intro, you can do push-ups here, or I'm gonna do what I did last week, and I did it last week with a kettlebell. This week I'm gonna do it with a dumbbell. It's simply straight arm plank. You grab the dumbbell and just move it across, taking it underneath the arm that's supporting you, and then put that hand down and same thing. So we'll do 20 for the first set, and then we'll take a quick rest, and then we'll do 16. All right, so come into straight 
body plank. All right, so the dumbbell should be kind of behind the line of your hands and out to the side a little bit. Squeeze your buttocks. You can always drop to the knees if you need to modify. So listen to your body. So inhale, exhale, set it over there. Inhale, exhale, set it over there. That's two. And three. Try to keep your core super strong as you are doing this. And five. Six. Keep your eyes looking out in front there. Don't let your head hang too heavy. Seven. Nine. And 11. 13. 15. 17. 18. Last two, come on. 19 and 20. Good, drop to your knees. Push those hips back, extended child's pose stretch. Big inhale breath right here. Exhale it out. <clears throat> All right, roll it up. Shoulders roll around to the back. And let's do another set. See if I can figure out who is there. I, you're too far away, sorry. I see you, but I don't see you. Whoever's there, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. It's Wednesday. We're doing lower body. Okay, so set number two for our arm crossover deal. Ready? Come into either bent knee plank. Again, you can do it bent knees or do it straight legs. I think you can do straight legs. Give it a shot. All right, so super straight legs. Fire up your glutes, fire up your core. Inhale, breath as you grab. Exhale, set it under and over there. Inhale, exhale, that's two. Inhale. And four. And six. Eight. Ten. Woo -hoo. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Keep going, come on, almost there. 18 and 19 and 20. Good, drop the knees. Push back into child's pose and breathe. Inhale, breath. Exhale it out. Good, and then just come up into a tabletop position. Inhale, arch head up. Exhale, round spine is flexing up towards the ceiling. Inhale, breath, drop the belly and look up. Exhale, round. And then come all the way up to kneeling. Inhale, exhale, tuck your toes under, round the back, squeeze your abdominals in. Push those palms out and up, inhale, breath. Exhale, open out. All right, should feel nice and warm. Let's see where we're at. Uh, it's time to go, it's nine o'clock, yeah. So let's do a little bit more with the warming up process. And then we will get right into the legs. We're gonna do a lot of squats, lunges, using the ball as a prop. We're gonna do a great inner thigh exercise that I don't think I've done yet here in this group. Um, done it teaching elsewhere, but not. I don't think I've done it here. Um, and what else are we gonna do? We're gonna do some hamstring curls on the ball, some glute bridges, so some excellent exercises coming up. So just have your big ball, have your weights, and then I've got my little ramp. You know, we used that ramp when we were doing the squat challenge as a way to sort of boost the heels up. So if you liked that, get your little whatever out. I know not everybody has a ramp like mine, but you could put your heels on very thin books or you could roll up your yoga mat or a piece of cardboard, just anything, you know, that's not gonna slip away underneath your feet or mush too much. So you only want like not even a full inch, maybe a half an inch of a lift. All right, so stand with the feet a little wider than hip distance. Take a big inhale, breath, arms up over the head here. Exhale, open out. Let's do four quick squats. So down up four, down up three, down up two, one more. And then big inhale, breath up to the top. Exhale, push those arms super strong out to the sides like that. Four squats in a row. And three, and two, and one. And again, inhale up. Exhale, open out. 
Four squats, looking forwards with your eyeballs. Don't look down at the floor. Two more of these guys, inhale up. Exhale, open out. Four squats in a row, long neck, squeeze your glutes. And then last time, inhale up. Exhale out, four squats in a row, four, three, two. Now go down and stay here on one. Drop it down a little lower. Maybe walk your feet out wider. Drop your hands onto your quads. Let's just pulse here down in the lower zone, down in the basement. We say squat lift, squat lift. Go 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now slowly drop left shoulder down. Inhale up. Exhale, right shoulder down. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, drop left. Inhale up. Exhale, drop right. Inhale, breath up. One more time each way. Drop the left shoulder down. Come on up, inhale. Exhale, drop the right shoulder down. Inhale up. Good. Walk your feet together here. A little funky chicken style. Kick it out, shake it out. So let's do some big swinging arms and legs, straight arms. So we're kind of practicing the Russian march here. And kick, step. I've always been so amused, amazed, um, impressed with those, I, it could be the Korean army, I don't know, Chinese army, you've seen them, and they're like in perfect unison, and I kid you not, their legs are this high. It's like, what's their training program? And they just, it looks amazing. Okay, change it to a knee lift. You're gonna punch it out. Punch it out, high knees up. So try to pull those thighs up towards your chest. Here, push, push. Four, three, two. Now side knee lift. You're gonna swing the arms around to the side. High knees up, pull it up, pull it up. Give me four, three, Two, now ham, curl it. Heels to the rear, kick it back, kick it back, kick it back, cross pull, cross pull. So again, I've said it before, but I would like you to use whatever music you love, because I know this is not really loud enough to hear, it's probably very faint to you, but it's loud to me. One day I'll figure out that technology. Go four more, and three. And two, now feet stay down, reach it all the way up, over the head here, down, reach, down, and reach. Nice full body stretch, up, up. Four, three, two, take it across the front here now. Swing that arm around, stop, swing, stop, stop it. Go four, go three, go two, now lunge those legs from side to side here. Take it up, take it up. So park one forearm on the quad and switch and switch and reach, reach. Now reach across the front again. Lunging side to side. Go four, go three, two. Now hands on the quad slowly. Drop and lift up, drop and lift it up. Inhale. Exhale. This time, reach for the floor. Reach for the front. And reach for the floor. Reach for the front. So right in front of the toes. Out in front. Right in front of the toes. Out front. Go four. Three. Two. One more. Here we go. Nice slow inhale breath up. Exhale out. Squat down. Hold it here again. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's pulse down here in that lower zone again. This is really forcing blood into the muscles. Here we go, it's 10 and nine and eight, seven, six, five, lower, lower four, lower three, lower two, lower one, and then stand up, walk your feet in here. Kick it out, shake it out. All right. So we will start with the ball. Grab your ball, no weights yet. We'll just go through the exercise first without weights. So we're gonna do three sets. 
almost three sets for everything that we do today. So first set's kind of a learning set. So the ball should be there. So just a little bit above the buttocks, kind of resting slightly on the upper buttocks, low back, and then right underneath the shoulder blades. Now I know everybody has different size balls, so it's gonna fit you a little differently, but basically right there. So what you wanna do is walk the feet slightly out in front, so not directly underneath. So you're kind of leaning into the ball. If we were to take it away, you would go flying back. So that's how you want your posture. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Let's go, inhale down, down, down. Exhale, up and up. When you stand up, your back comes up off the ball. So here's, sometimes there's a tendency to like, oh yeah, this is nice and comfy. Let the ball support me. No, don't do that. You come up off that ball. So once you go down, it kind of rolls up the spine and then you come up. So here we go. Inhale down. Exhale it up. Inhale. Let's just go six more. Kind of a warm up again. Five, four, three, two, and then one more time down. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. And then stand it up. Good job. And then just walk away, let that ball go. Nah. Kick it out. Next, you're gonna grab whatever dumbbells you want. So leave room to go up even higher for that third set. If you've got enough weight, if not, you can step on a band and hold it. And as you stand up, you're going against that resistance that way. So that's one way to use bands rather than weights. Okay, so I'm gonna get my, uh, I think I'll get my 15s. I'm gonna go for it. Now the trick is you wanna set the weights down first, then get the ball in position. And I'm gonna do my last set against the wall just so you can maybe see a side view for a change. And again, feet are about hip width apart. And then your buttocks, not completely on the ball, not there, but up a little bit. Now, here's the trick. You gotta go down, keep your head up, find those dumbbells. Oh, this first one's the hardest. All right, so here we go. Inhale on the down, exhale up. Four, we're gonna go 20, so here we go five. Inhale down, exhale six. Sixteen, come on, seventeen. 18, inhale down, one more. Stay down here, stay down here. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And then slowly up, up, up you go to the top. Ah, and then just walk away enough to let the ball go. And then just drop your weights away. Swing it out. Okay, third set, a little heavier. I'm gonna do over here. Hopefully you'll be able to see well enough to see the form. That's mainly why I would be doing it over here. I'm gonna set my weights out in front a little bit. <laughs> so again, if you're standing straight up and down like this, the ball's gonna be pushing you forwards, which means the knees are gonna go forwards and that's not good for your patellar tendon. It's not good for your knee in general. So that's why you wanna walk your feet out in front so it feels like you're kinda of leaning back and if we push the ball away, you would go <laughs> smack into the wall. All right, so kinda of get it positioned where you want it. Eyes are looking straight ahead there and then squat down. Where are my weights? Oh yeah, okay. And then stand up nice and slow, taking your time. Shoulders back and down. Let's go. Inhale on the squat. Exhale up. Inhale, squat. Exhale. That's eight. And nine. We're going to try for 20 again, so just so you know. You can stop at 15 if you're tired. Here's 11. Here's 12. 13. 
15. 14. 15. Inhale. Exhale. Nineteen. Last one down. Go down and stay there. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And then slowly up, 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 up to the top you go. Good. Walk your feet in. Drop your weights. And then just walk away. Let the ball go. There. All right. Kick it out. So for many of you, that ball squat might be a good alternative for you for squats in general, whenever we do squats. And you know, I'm doing them all the time. But for some people, it actually feels better on your knees just because of the position that it puts your body in. Whereas when you're doing just freestanding squats, sometimes you tend to push the knees too far forwards and then it hurts. So this kind of forces you to have a little bit better posture, a little bit better alignment. You just don't want those feet too far out in front. You remember the general rule when you're squatting is that knee should stay stacked. It's gonna come forward some, just not beyond your tennis shoe. You know, if this is the perpendicular line, no further forward than that, okay? All right, so next we're gonna do straddle style squats and we're gonna use the ball again. Feel free to just do it out here freely in the center of the room if you want. So grab a, whichever weights you're going to do. So we're going to do three sets again. So I'm going to get my 10s, 15s, and then 20s on this particular set. Okay, so I get my 10s. I'll get my ball. There's lots of ways to get that ball up there. Helps to have a person. Sometimes a trainer does this for you. They'll set you all up and just hand the weights to you. But sometimes you just got to do it yourself. Okay, so stand with your feet quite why? Well, just wider than your hips for sure in a slight toe out position. Hands can be back here behind the thighs. They can be here in front. They can be here in front of your chest or you could park them on your trap. So wherever you want, just kind of play with it a bit. Here we go. Let's just do 15. Sort of a warm up for these. Three, four, five, six, seven. Are you kind of leaning against that ball? Eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, one more. Stay there, stay there, stay there on the bottom. Stay there and then slowly up, 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 up to the top you go. Good, and then walk your feet in, come away, let the ball go, and then let your weights go. Okay. Let's do a knee to chest stretch. So this is an active dynamic stretch for your glutes, for your hammies, little balance challenge as well. So hike the knee up high, step down, inhale. Exhale, hike it up, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. All right, shake it out, wiggle it out. Get something to drink. I think I spilled my drink. Okay. How's everybody? I'm gonna um, use my stick to push the fan just because I don't want to come up too close and then go back and it's all out of focus. <sighs> oh, that feels great. Yeah. Okay, set number two. So get your uh, next set of weights. Remember, we're doing three sets. So it would be nice if you had three different sets of weights. You can always stack two of those dumbbells together in each hand. All right, so roll that ball up. Again, it should be at the center of the ball. The biggest circumference should be right in the small of your back, like right at your waistband. And then a little bit on the upper buttocks, a little bit on the kind of below shoulder blade level. Okay, get your feet slightly out in front. Now, just again, I've said this a million times, I get tired of saying it, but I just wanna make sure everybody knows that when I am picking that toe up, picking those toes up there, but especially that one, you don't have to do that. That's just me working around an injury that I have. So you could try it. I mean, it's gonna strengthen your anterior tibialis muscle, which is not such a bad thing to do, but that's why I'm doing that. It's not necessarily necessary for you to do it. 
Okay, on your marks. Just stick it. We're doing 20. Inhale down, exhale it up. So I got the weights behind my legs this time. It kind of broadens the shoulder girdle and collarbone here. Make sure you're going down pretty low if you can. And then up, squeeze your inner thighs there at the top. Inhale down, exhale it up. Let's go. 10 more. Here it is. Down, up. 10. Inhale. Exhale. 9. Okay. High again. Wow. It just uh, cut off for a second. I thought I lost you. We're going to do 10 more. That's where it cut off on me. I don't know if what happened on your end. It just said paused. We are just at the mercy of internet. People, we're at the mercy of the internet. <laughs> okay, finish this set up. Okay, oh, that was a hard one right there. Okay, 10 more on your mark, let's go. Inhale down, exhale it up. One, two, three. Squeeze those inner thigh muscles right there. Four, come on, inhale down. Exhale, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Come on, inhale down, nine. Now on 10, go down and stay there. Hang out, fire up every single muscle fiber in your body, and then slowly up, 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 up to the top you go. Good, walk your feet in, come away, let the ball go and then let the weights go. Okay, so once again, knee to chest, active stretch here. So drive the knee up, step, knee up, step down. Two more, left knee up, step down, right knee up, and then step, and then just shake out your legs. Okay, last set, third set, straddle squats, wide stance squats, working inner thighs. Every time those legs straighten up, imagine that if you had on roller skates, your feet would just go together. So that's the energy, the direction you want the energy to go in your legs, in your feet, in your body, just like you're trying to draw those legs together. Okay, so last set, I'm carrying 20 pound dumbbells in each hand. And again, if you are getting to 20 and it's like, I'm not even feeling it, you just do 20 more. Keep on going, don't stop just because I am. Again, I wanna give you, empower you, for lack of a better word, I kinda hate that word because it's ever used, but empower you to trust your intuition and your decisions and you can, you know, it's not rocket science, this workout stuff. And I think that's part of the scam of, a lot of fitness diet programs out there is they want to convince you that you're dumb and you don't know what to do but the truth is you do <laughs> you know if you're not feeling it just do 10 more if something hurts change it you know everybody knows how to eat healthy everybody knows they need to move so you don't really need so much as maybe just a coach like a cheerleader I'm your cheerleader here okay once again I'm gonna do the hands slightly behind my thighs here we go inhale breath lower down and then exhale up squeeze those inner thighs together remember the roller skate imagery so squeeze those legs together all the way if you could inhale down exhale that's three four five see if you can go a little bit lower come on ah six yeah just that extra inch or two at the bottom makes all the difference doesn't it here we go seven eight Nine, 10, 11, 12, draw your abdominals in strong, 13, 14, 15, come on, five more, you can do this.
Let's do two more. You can do it. Come on, inhale down, go lower. Exhale up. This one go down. Stay there. Stay there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Press your back firmly into that ball. Slowly up, up, up to the top you go. And then walk your feet in. Come away. Let the ball go. And then drop it down. Woohoo! Okay. Done with those squats. Yay. So next, we are going to do an inner thigh exercise. So I said we haven't done this before. So what you want to do, and it really depends on your ball size. So I know some are super small and shrimpy. Others <laughs> might have a big, big one. It might be hard to do. But I want you to imagine that you're riding a horse. Some of you are um, equestrian. And you know, they really use their inner thighs to grip the body of the horse to stay kind of stable on top there. So it's kind of that same action. If you're able to, you want your feet to stay down on the floor. If you need a wall or a chair to hold on to, do that. Otherwise, you're just gonna kind of sit on top of the ball. The toes are tucked under and back. So pretty much the knees are directly underneath my hips. So I'm not like sitting back like that, right? So I'm trying to sit up pretty tall. There is a little bit of space there. So I'm not completely on top of the ball. And then I'm gonna just place my hands on my hips. I'm gonna tuck the pelvis under. I'm gonna focus on drawing my abdominals in. Inhale, sort of relax a little bit. Exhale, squeeze your knees into the ball. Like if you had little tacks on the inside of your knees, you would be puncturing the ball. Like puncture it, <laughs> if that makes sense. All right, so inhale. And this is a timed one. On your marks, get set, go. So press slowly for the first half. So inhale, release a little bit. Exhale, squeeze in. Squeeze in. Oh boy, I'm already feeling this. We might be feeling this tomorrow. Exhale, press the knees in. So you probably can't see a whole lot. I'm just sort of pressing my knees into the ball, squishing it a little bit. Make sure you tuck the pelvis under, draw those abdominal muscles in. Two more slowly, push and push. A little faster, ready? Push and push, knees squeeze into the ball. Exhale. Hang in there, hang in there. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, last one, ay 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 ay. Now roll back, stand pretty wide with the legs, roll the ball out, come into a forward fold. Inhale, breath. Exhale, roll the ball in a little bit and then just lunge over here to the right. Get that good inner thigh stretch there on the left leg. Kind of hang out here on top of the ball. Woohoo! Good, now inhale, breath up. And then exhale, lunge over to the left. Kind of roll the ball over there. Get that wonderful inner thigh stretch on your right leg. Hang out. Good, and then come back up. And then just walk your feet in. Inhale up. Exhale out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open out. Good, and just kind of, you know, shake out your legs. So we're gonna do another set. I'm gonna need a sip of water. If you don't have a big ball, you can sit in a chair, put your little ball there. Sorry, I didn't say that earlier, but you know, improvise. There's always a way to do it a different way. You just gotta think outside that kind of box thing. Okay, round two. So once again, knees kind of this is your horse, giddy up. <laughs> a little bit of space there. You're not completely relaxed and sitting on the ball. Toes are tucked under, knees directly under the hips. Tuck the pelvis under, firm your core. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So release a little bit and then press in. Inhale, breath, exhale. You know, we wanna strengthen all the muscles around this pelvic girdle. So that includes your hip flexors, your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, outer glute medius, and then the inner thighs. These are your adductors. Here we go. Speed it up, speed it up. Push those knees into the ball. Press in, press in. Here we go. 
Squeeze tight. Exhale. Every time you push in, go eight. Come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it in a one. Ha! And then roll back. Roll the ball out here. Inhale. And then exhale it out. Inhale. Roll the ball in a little bit. And then exhale, lunge over here to the right side. Keep your left leg straight. Just roll that arm out. So you want to feel a great stretch all the way up to the groin there on the left leg. Big time inner thigh stretch. And keep that left foot all the way anchored down into the floor. Don't let your outer edge roll up like that. Keep it down. Inhale, breath, come on up. Exhale, lunge over here to the left. Roll the ball out. And then keep this right leg straight. I know you can't see. Ball's in the way. I'll come over here and just feel that wonderful stretch. Good, and then come on up. Ha. Walk your feet in, together. Inhale up, exhale out. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, open out. Okay, shake out your legs. We got one more set. How are we doing? You might, you might hate me tomorrow. I mean, I'm gonna might hate me tomorrow. I already feel it. So I don't, I don't think I'm liking this gray so much. I kind of like the yellow, but <laughs> I don't know. It's just paint. It's a wall. I'm going to go a little bit warmer, brighter, lighter. Not yellow, but just lighter. Just trying to prevent that, that wonky glow. And I know you know what I'm talking about if you've seen me in this room. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Last set. Let's do it. Let's do it. So toes are tucked under in back. Knees are bent. They're right underneath your hips. You're on your horse. Okay. Tuck the pelvis under. You don't want to be arched like that or you're going to have pain in your lower back. So bring your shoulders back here. Tuck the tail under. All right. On your mark, set. Here we go. Exhale as you press in. Release. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Squeeze in, release a little bit, not release all the way. So you're maintaining tension all the time on those adductors, those inner thigh muscles. Exhale, pressing in, inhale, release. Exhale, press, inhale. Two more slowly we go, let's go. Double time tempo, quickly press. Knees press in, press it in, press in. Exhale, 10, nine, eight, seven, come on, six. Five and four and three. Squeeze in two. Hold it in on one. And then just, oh my goodness, come up and straddle. Stretch it. Drop your head down. Keep your legs straight. Inhale, breath. Exhale it out. Good. Now roll it in. Inhale. Exhale. Once again, side lunge to the right. Stretching that left inner thigh. Keep your foot completely flat on the floor here. Good. Inhale, breath. Come on up. And then exhale. Let's take it over here. Side lunging to the left. Keeping this leg straight. Keeping the outer edge of that foot down on the floor. And then just kind of turn your body this away. And breathe. Good. Come on up. Inhale. And then exhale. Walk your feet together. Inhale up. Exhale out. Inhale up. Exhale, breath out. All right, so we're gonna do one more stand-up exercise, and we're just gonna do one set of these because I wanna do some more stuff down on the floor um, for the glutes and the hamstrings, but this is a lunge variation. So, you know, traditional lunge, you're just, legs are staggered, both knees bending equal amount, and then up you go. So using the ball can actually help a little bit, and this is one where I'm gonna show it to you from the side. So, same setup with the ball, but you're standing up super tall here. Then step back and then step front. Kind of wiggle the toes back. Maybe your heel comes onto the wall, maybe not. Just kind of depends on the size of your ball. But you want to stand up nice and straight. Ah, and then you're just going to drop it down here. 
and then up. So the ball actually kind of helps a little bit. It ensures good form. Your back feels a little bit supported. So we're gonna do 20 on each leg and then we'll just take it down. Here we go. Inhale, lunge. exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there. Here we go. Last ten reps. Inhale down. Exhale nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Last two. Now stay down here on one. Stay here. Stay here. Push your back into the ball. Come on up. Yeah, and then walk your feet in. Let the ball go down. We're gonna do a stretch for this right glute. So cross the ankle up above, let the knee fall out. Sink down, now if your ball's right there, you could just sit on it. How convenient is that? And then drop your chest over that shin bone. Drop your head. Good, come on up. And then just shake it out. I think I'm going to just toss those over there because we don't need them. All right, other side. So roll the ball up the wall. Put the small of your back right there. Left foot front, right foot back. And again, your heel, if it's a small ball, maybe it touches the wall, but that's not necessary. All right, so I might be modifying this a little bit just because of that ankle deal all right here we go 20 reps inhale on the down exhale up last 10 let's go drop down exhale push nine eight Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now, last one, go down, stay there, and push your back into the ball. Push, 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 push. Good, come on up. And then walk away, let the ball go. Take your left ankle above the knee, bend the knee, sit down, or just do a standing figure four stretch here. Or if the ball is conveniently there, you can sit on it and then drop your chest over. All right, come on up. Ha, stand up. And then big inhale, up with the arms we go, and then exhale down to the front like so. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, round it down. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, step out on that right leg, right arm out, focus on a spot somewhere in front. Pick up the left foot. Pull your heel to the rear. So we wanna get a wonderful quad and hip flexor stretch here before we go down to the floor. As you step down, sweep this right arm back, left arm up, find your balance on that left leg, pick up your foot, heel to the rear. All right, should feel good. So get your ball close by. You're gonna come down onto the floor on your back, so if you need your yoga mat, uh, go ahead and get that out and just roll these away a little bit farther. All right, I am going to come down here and then the feet are going to go directly on top of the ball. So heels on top and then as you come down, the legs are fully extended with those heels on top. And then just go ahead and rest the shoulders and the head down, hands on the mat right there. Take an inhale breath through the nose. On the exhale breath, first draw the navel to spine so that back kind of presses firmly down. And then energize your quads, your glutes. Push those heels down to lift the hips up. 
Now, first one, we just drop and lift up 10. Inhale, exhale, nine, eight, seven, six, and five. Inhale, exhale, four, up for three. Try to keep that ball stable there too. Notice it wants to roll all around. Now stay up here. You're gonna roll the ball in 10 and out. Nine and out. Eight and seven and six and five. Drive those hips up higher when the knees come in. Four and three. Come on, last two. Up, drop, hips up, hold it here. And then lower your back down slowly, slowly. And then just draw the knees in. You can kind of walk the ball in so it doesn't run away from you. Good, now soles of the feet together and then just kind of press your knees out using your hands there. All right, stretch your legs back out again. One more set. So heels are directly on top. Hands are here, inhale breath. On the exhale breath, draw navel to spine, flatten that back down into the floor, drive your heels down into the ball, up you go. Lower and lift 10, down up nine, and eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Now hold it up here on one, roll the ball in, drive the hips up 10, out nine, and out you go, eight. Come on, seven, and six, and five. Pull them in four, and three, and two. One more time, hips up here, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Good, now lower down, down, down. Walk the ball in, and open up the knees and press your knees out for butterfly stretch. Good, now just rest that left leg over the ball. Stretch the right leg up, little hamstring stretch there. If you wanna give your massage, massage that muscle a little bit, that kind of helps loosen it up if it's kind of tightening up on you. Good, and then relax. And then kick that leg up, bring it in, stretch it out. And again, a little massage there on that hamstring muscle. All right, so we're gonna do two more sets of bridges, but these are different. I'm um, trying to think how the best way to position myself would be for you to see. Um, I might just go a little bit this way. So what I want you to do is to do butterfly stretch, kind of like we just did, but your feet are gonna be on top of the ball there, like that. So you're gonna try to maintain this butterfly stretch position as you drive the hips up. So with those hips externally rotated, it's gonna kinda hit right dead center in the middle of your glutes. So you're gonna go up and then lower halfway down, not all the way, don't touch the floor. Press up 10, down, up, nine, and eight, seven, six, five, and four, come on, it's three, up, two. Now stay up on one, hold it there, hold it there. Can you straighten the legs and then roll it up? So it's like you're doing a plie on the ball. And that's two, out, roll it in, three, and four, five, six, seven, come on, eight. The ball rolls away, nine, last one, 10. Knees together, lower the hips down. Walk that ball in. Kick the right leg up and then drop that leg to the side. Drop the ball with your knee over it to the other side. So wonderful inner thigh stretch going on in here. Good, bring it all back to center. Rest the right leg on the ball, kick the left leg up, and then drop that left leg to the left side, roll the ball over, kind of tuck it in behind that knee. So you're stretching this right inner thigh as well as the left. Just a little bit more extreme on the left leg. Wonderful, then bring it all back to center. And then let's set it up. We're gonna do one more set. So hang in there, we're almost done. Just do this last set. So 
you probably notice as you're doing the roll in and outs on any position, whether it's here or there, the ball starts to run away from you. So it's like getting further and further out. So you just do a little walk it in. Just walk it in if that happens, okay? So knees bent, soles of the feet together there. Not directly on top, but kind of on the slope down side there. Hands right beside your hips, inhale. Exhale, breath. Draw that navel to spine. Push the hips up. Here we go. Drop and lift up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Three more. Two more. Now hold it up on one. Straighten and then bend. Out in two. Out in three. Out in four. And five. Come on. Six. Seven, eight, nine, hold it there, 10. Knees together, lower the hips. Walk the ball in, rest the left leg over, kick the right one up, grab behind and stretch it out and then roll the ball left, roll that right leg out to the right side. Good, bring it all back up, switch. So drop your right leg over the ball, Kick your left leg up straight, draw it in first, and then out you go for inner thigh stretch. Good, bring it back up. Ha. Then you are going to grab the ball with your legs here. Okay, so I hope you can see. I don't know if you can. Let me see what time it is. We got time for two more. Two more good ones, all right? So you're gonna come onto your back. You're gonna just sort of trap the ball in between your ankles like that. So this is the drop and catch, toss and then trap it. When you trap it, keep your legs straight, activate those inner thigh muscles really strong. Ready? So drop and toss. Drop, there's a little bit of a hand-eye coordination thing too. It's kind of fun, you know, who says you can't have fun while you're exercising? You gotta think of exercise as just recess for big people. <laughs> you know, recess was my favorite subject. In elementary school, I couldn't wait till recess and we got three of them. Three, I think, a day. It was a blast. Hated to come in. All right, let's go 10 more and nine and eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold it there. Now press, 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 small and tight, push, 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 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh my goodness, set the feet together there. Let the ball just go away over your head that way. And then use your hands to press the knees open. All right, bring your knees together, bring them in, rock side to side. All right, let's do one more set of those. So hopefully your ball's not too far away. So here we go again. Trap the ball in between your ankles there. So when you open the legs up, catch it and then let the legs go out quite a bit. So you're getting a good stretch there and they have to come from a further down position to come up. So there's a greater range of motion going on in the hips. So toss it and trap it. When you trap it, keep the quads engaged, knees straight, out and press. Out, press up, inhale, exhale. Keep your eyes on the ball. Don't toss it too high. Don't toss it too low. Let's go 10 more. Come on, down up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, hold it there. Press those legs in quick, 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 tight. Push, 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 push. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, squeeze one. Oh my goodness. <sighs> and then just let that ball go away. <laughs> and let the knees open up. Inner thigh stretch here. Push those knees down. <sighs> I 
Good, bring your knees together and then bring your knees in, make a tight little ball, stretch out that lower back here. Good, grab behind, tuck your chin, rock and roll up and sit. Okay, so this last one is sort of a combination core quadricep exercise and you're gonna need the ball. I've just really used this ball, wearing it out. <laughs> That's good though. We wanna make use of this. I wanna show you how versatile this piece of equipment is. And there's, I mean, this isn't even like a fraction of what we can do. I could do a three hour class, I think, on the ball and not run out of stuff to do. So I know y'all are ready to sign up for that one. Okay, so for the quads, you wanna park your tennis shoe laces right on top and then come onto your forearms. So basically what you're gonna do is just straighten the legs out and then bend. So the act of straightening your legs, it does require quadricep, hip flexor, core strength. So that's two, we're gonna do 10, that's three. So drop the knees down, just barely kind of touch the floor there. And four, inhale, exhale, five. It's not a jackknife, this is different. Six, drop the knees to touch. Up seven. Eight. Nine, come on, one more time. So push the tops of your feet down, 10. Hold it there, hold it there. Good, bend the knees. Trap your feet around the ball and then just come up into a rounded, stretched position for your back. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Last time, exhale, breath, round. All right, one more set. So get those feet again, right on top. Come down onto the forearms. So you want that ball in pretty close to you here, just like that. And then as you straighten those legs, focus on tightening up in the quadricep muscles. But of course your core is working hard too because it does take you into plank at the end of the movement. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, let's go. Straighten it up 10. And nine. Eight. Seven. Come on, six. Inhale, exhale, five, four, three, two. Come on, one more time, inhale down. Exhale, straighten, hold it. Good, drop your knees, you can toss it, and then push back into child's pose. Come up into tabletop, inhale, arch, head up. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Good, now straighten that left leg out. I'm gonna turn just a little bit this way. We're gonna go into a wonderful pigeon stretch because we have worked our legs and glutes a lot. So that knee is right in front. Drop your chest over here. However far you can go, that's just where you go. Relax your head down and breathe. Inhale through the nose. Exhale it out. Okay, now as you come up, can you pull this foot in a little bit closer and just reach back and grab this foot? Now when you bend the knee, do it slowly. Don't try to... Uh, Pull that heel in super quick or you might get a cramp. So you just slowly reach back, grab a hold, however you wanna grab a hold and pull that heel towards the rear, stretching your quads. Inhale, breath. Exhale it out. Good job, and then slowly release. Don't just let it flop down. Hands are here, tuck the toes, lift up to plank, inhale. Exhale, now the left knee comes up. Drop your chest over that thigh. So wonderful stretch for your glutes there. Dropping your chest down. <sighs> Good. 
Good, and then come on up. Bring your foot in a little bit closer. Reach back with this hand slowly again. Bend the knee so you don't get a cramp there. So you're just gonna draw that heel towards the glutes and stretch your quadriceps and hip flexors here. Should feel really good. Good, slowly let go. And then tuck your toes under. Inhale, straight body plank. And then exhale, send the sit bones up. Drop your head down. Walk your feet in a little bit closer than a regular down dog stretch. And just feel that stretch there. Inhale, breath. Exhale it out. Good, now walk the feet up a little closer. Bend the knees to drop your hips. Slowly bring your head up, hands on the quads, inhale. Exhale, tuck the tail under, pull the navel in, and then lift up with the head. And then just roll all the way up to a stand. Slowly, slowly, inhale, arms up. Exhale, feet together, down you go. One more time, inhale, breath up. Exhale, drop them down. All right, so I think we should do one more good inner thigh stretch because we, we did a lot of inner thigh stuff. So come out into a, I just call it like a sumo wrestler squat stance, not real graceful, but a nice wide stance and then come as low as you can, park the forearms there and then press the knees open, drop your chest over a little bit and then you can shift the weight slightly from side to side there, really feeling that stretch in those inner thighs, using your forearms to press the knees open. Good, now from there, straighten the legs, toes forwards, drop your head. Inhale, lift up halfway. And then exhale, bend that right knee only and just come around grabbing a hold of that right ankle, keeping your left leg straight. Come to the center, inhale. Exhale, shift the weight over here to the left, keeping that right leg straight. And then just grab around and breathe. Good, come up, inhale. And then exhale, walk your feet in. And then one more time, bend the knees, hands up on those quads, inhale. And then exhale, round all the way up to the top. Stretch your arms overhead, inhale, breath. Exhale, side lean. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, side lean here. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, open out. Okie dokie. We are done. How do your legs feel? Make sure you drink a lot of water. Get a big, big glass of water. You know, help flush it out. And don't sit for a long time today. You might stiffen up. Sometimes that happens if you sit for too long, especially after workout. And then you get up and you feel like you're 90. At least I do. I don't know. <laughs> Feels good just to keep the body moving and help kind of flush out some of that waste product that gets built up in the workout. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning for yoga. We're gonna stretch it all out if we're sore and we just might be. So have a great day. Bye. Hi, Charmaine. Hi, Izzy.